Well, hello there. Today we're going to watch a classic TV series called McHale's Navy, a show that I'm sure most of our listeners are familiar with. McHale's Navy is known far and wide as one of the best TV series to ever hit the air. So today we're going to reminisce and watch the series again with the entire cast of Then and Now. We will tell you about the original names and ages of the actors from the show and how they've changed in 2023. Okay, let's check it out together. Tim Conway was born as Thomas Daniel Conway on December 15, 1933 in Willoughby, Ohio. He played the character Ensign Charles Parker in the series when he was 29 years old in 1962. Sadly, on May 14, 2019, Conway died from complications of normal pressure hydrocephalus at a care facility in Los Angeles, California at the age of 85. Strikes a chord, doesn't it? Uh, well, I, I think I've heard the name, sir, yes, sir. That man is an absolute renegade. He used to be the captain of a tramp steamer down well, we here. With keep me. bringing this tree in. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, no, my folks, uh, my dad took care of horses. Mm -hmm. yeah. Joe Flynn was born on November 8, 1924, in Youngstown, Ohio. He played the character Captain Wallace B. Binghampton in the series when he was 38 years old in 1962. Sadly, on July 19, 1974, Flynn died of a heart attack in the swimming pool of his Beverly Hills home in Los Angeles, California, at the age of 49. Jack the Ripper, Mike. <laughs> but Ensign's a simple, the childlike, the 100% American boys. Yes, sir. Now, Michael, I'm going to fix it. I did do one film there when he was alive, but we didn't meet. My first one was called Son of Fub Flubber, and Mr. Disney was alive at that time. But uh... Bob Hastings was born on April 18, 1925, in Brooklyn, New York. He played the character Lieutenant Elroy Carpenter in the series when he was 37 years old in 1962. Sadly, on June 30, 2014, Hastings died from prostate cancer in Burbank, California, at the age of 89. In command? Oh, thank you, Captain. And believe me, I shall maintain your high standard of leadership and do everything in my power to... Oh, shut up! <laughs> Carl Ballantyne was born as Meyer Kessler on September 27, 1917, in Chicago, Illinois. He played the character Lester Gruber in the series when he was 45 years old in 1962. On November 3, 2009, Ballantyne died of natural causes at his home in Hollywood, California, at the age of 92. Snooky Wookums loves a little pussycat. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> but I can't. Gary Vinson was born on October 22, 1936, in El Segundo, California. He played the character George Christopher in the series when he was 26 years old in 1962. Sadly, on October 15, 1984, Vincent died of a self-inflicted gunshot in Redondo Beach, California at the age of 47. Ernest Bornine was born as Hermes Efron Bornino on January 24, 1917 in Hamden, Connecticut. He played the character Lieutenant Commander Quentin McHale in the series when he was 45 years old in 1962. Sadly, on July 8, 2012, Bornine died of kidney failure at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, California at the age of 95. Look, Buster, as long as my men do a job when they're on a mission, whatever they do in their free time is okay by me. And that includes shooting ensigns. <laughs> It was quite something, and uh, it was new for me, and uh, of course it, it, it opened up the, the whole vista for me, you know. And, uh... Billy Sands was born as William F. Sands on January 6, 1911, in Bergen, New York. He played the character Tinkerbell in the series when he was 51 years old in 1962. Sadly, on August 24, 1984, Sands died of lung cancer at UCLA Medical Center in Los Angeles, California, at the age of 73. I stole him from Binghamton's garden. Tinker, I tried to call you. I'm afraid our date is off. But you promised. I got... 
Edson Stroll was born on January 6, 1929 in Chicago, Illinois. He played the character Virgil Edwards in the series when he was 33 years old in 1962. Sadly, on July 18, 2011, Stroll died of cancer in Marina del Rey, California, at the age of 82. All you have to do is put on your old uniform and let Bingham to take a couple of shots at you. That's all. Let Captain take shots out of me. You flip you. John Wright was born on March 30th, 1942, in Charleston, West Virginia. He played the character Willie Moss in the series when he was 20 years old in 1962. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 81. But Mr. Parker's got other good qualities that make up for this bad gunnery score. They don't assign an ensign to a boat because the crew likes it. Well, what do we do? Yoshio Yoda was born on March 31st, 1934 in Tokyo, Japan. He played the character Fuji Kobaiji in the series when he was 28 years old in 1962. On January 13th, 2023, Yoda died in Fullerton, California at the age of 88. No! I gotta go now. Have cake in the oven. <laughs> Gavin McLeod was born on February 28, 1931 in Mount Kisco, New York. He played the character Happy in the series when he was 31 years old in 1962. On May 29, 2021, McLeod died at his home in Palm Desert, California at the age of 90. McHale's Navy was a very successful comedy series, Universal, and we were guaranteed 42 weeks out of the year. And uh, I played a guy named Happy Hayne. Roy Roberts was born on March 19, 1906 in Dade City, Florida. He played the character Admiral Rogers in the series when he was 57 years old in 1963. Sadly, on May 28, 1975, Roberts died of a heart attack at St. Vincent's Hospital in Los Angeles, California at the age of 69. Jane Dulo was born on October 13, 1917 in Baltimore, Maryland. She played the character nurse Molly Turner in the series when she was 45 years old in 1962. Sadly, on May 22, 1994, Dulo died following heart surgery at Cedar sinai Hospital in Los Angeles, California at the age of 76. Waikiki, Cape Cod. Not even settled for Sunday night in Philadelphia. <laughs> ah, let's face it, Quint. We're not gone anywhere. We're stuck. Before we wrap up this journey through the world of McHale's Navy TV series, I want to hear from you. Who's your favorite character from the series? What's this thing that they have that it's so appealing to you? Share your thoughts and feelings in the comments section below. And don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you're always the first to know when new content is released. Your support and engagement mean the world to me. Thank you for joining me on this journey down memory lane.